With Frostpunk 2 coming out, let's dive a little bit into the lore. This is the story of how close our world was to having computers almost a hundred years before Alan Turing. We begin in 1834, where British mathematician and inventor Charles Babbage would change the course of history forever. He already had a prototype difference engine, which was a mechanical calculator that worked by gears and cogs that was cranked by hand. However, he wanted to improve his designs to carry out more complex calculations, and eventually his imagination led him to envision the analytical engine, which had one revolutionary difference that set it apart from its predecessor. Calculations made by this new analytical engine could be stored into its own memory, so it could be recalled later for further calculations. Here is where Frostpunk's history deviates from our present day world. Instead of dismissing the idea, the British government recognized the awesome potential of Babbage's machine, approving a grant funding the necessary resources to construct his machine. This is how we could have had computers almost a century before Alan Turing. The next issue to be solved was how did a person, any person, give instructions to the analytical engine quickly and efficiently? The answer was given by Ada Byron, Countess of Lovelace, an admirer of Babbage and a prominent mathematician in her own right. The Countess met Babbage as he needed translation work done on a few French articles, and she was so entranced by the potential of the analytical engine, she joined Babbage to work alongside him. Their partnership would come to define the fields of mathematics and science for the next century. The Countess developed the world's first computer program by detailing instructions on how to use Jacquard cards to give commands to the engine efficiently. She standardized the notation, paving the way for others to build upon her work and accelerate technological progress. The result was that tricky formulas could now be done by the engine efficiently and quickly through the use of Jacquard cards, which mimic the binary language of today's computers, with the cards themselves having patterns of holes, with holes indicating a one and no holes indicating a zero. Complex calculations were enabled, as a sequence of Jacquard cards could be strung together to perform very complex calculations quickly. Thus, the code for the automatons was in place. The partnership between Babbage and Lovelace proved to be a catalyst for leapfrogging technological progress. Babbage further refining the mechanics of his designs, whilst Lovelace worked on standardizing her card computing language that could be easily understood by others, opening it up to the minds of academics and industrialists alike. These advancements enabled the acceleration of technological development, compressing decades worth of mathematical and scientific knowledge and invention to just a few short years. In the blink of an eye, the engine's abilities grew from performing complex calculations to receiving instructions and carrying them out in order to move machinery. As the boundaries of knowledge expanded rapidly, the thirst for greater computing power grew across the empire. However, a challenge arose. The energy requirements for these increasingly complex inventions that were birthed from the engine began to strain the limits of existing steam power technology. Enter Professor Hawkins, a brilliant engineer, who recognized the surging power needs of the empire. His efforts led to the invention of the mighty steam core. This device could heat water and pressurize steam to unprecedented levels, surpassing the capabilities of traditional coal power plants. Hawkins' design leapfrogged power generation technology and opened the possibility to previously unimaginable contraptions such as massive land dreadnoughts. However, there was just one final barrier to overcome. Energy needed to be stored in the steam core itself. The power generated from coal could not always be guaranteed to feed the steam core. Hawkins added capacitors to his earlier designs, allowing steam cores to act as both a battery and a power generation source. With the energy requirements solved and the computer programming language simplified, the Empire's 15 meter tall automatons were finally realized, capable of carrying out tasks made by rolls of jacquard cards feeding them instructions powered by steam cores. Humanity's greatest triumph led the effort to ensure their creators endured 
in the face of Mother Nature's wrath. But I'm curious as to what everyone thinks the Steam Core actually is. Please put your theory down in the comments below and give a like if you like this fanfiction lore video that I made regarding the automatons and the Steam Cores.